Game two of the American League Division Series. It's the Yankees two and the Angels two. And Juan Rivera, the former Yankee farmhand, who broke into the big leagues as a Yankee, and he helped turn the game around when he had a home run against Chen Ming Wong in the fifth inning. The Angels were trailing 2 0 at that time. And the slider is too low, ball one. Rivera reached on an error by Cano. His first time out back in the second inning. Steve Finley and Adam Kennedy will follow. The sinker, out of movement there, too low, ball two. Only 73 pitches thrown by Wong tonight. Two runs, four hits for the Yankees. Two runs, five hits, and two big errors for the Yankees. That's a strike. And again, it has to be extremely frustrating for the Yankees because they've had so many chances to score. They've left eight men on base. And then they make the two errors, and one of those led to the tying run of the game. Big high chop. Jeter has to wait. And two. So Jeff Devannon is the pinch runner at first base. The possible go-ahead run. Steve Finley the hitter. I think you have to sacrifice here. Long. And he pulled him off the bag. Everybody's safe. Cano was over to cover. And it was going to be awfully close anyway. I think it was going to beat it out. The ball hit on the plate, and then it just died halfway between the plate and the pitcher's mound. It is going to be scored as an error. A sacrifice for Finley. No time at bat. And another Yankees error. This one to Wong himself. Third Yankees error. Here's Kennedy. And you have to keep going. You have to keep running. They haven't had anything going against Wong. You have to go ahead and do whatever you can. To... Oh, here's another. Another high bunt. This time they get it. Wow. Runners at second and third and one out. I'm John Miller with Joe Morgan. I mean, I mean, Wong, they haven't done anything against Wong. No. In this well, that's why they continue to bunt, because they haven't been able to drive the ball. And don't be shocked if they don't try a squeeze. You have to think about the fact that they haven't been able to get the ball out of the infield as well. They haven't hit a lot of fly balls either. You need a fly ball here to score a run. Figgins is 0 for 7 in the series. Inside. Figgins 0 for 4 last night with two strikeouts. 0 for 3 tonight, two ground outs and a strikeout. And he gets uh, gives a long look over to third base coach, Ron Renneke. So if you're Joe Torre and you're thinking they might suicide squeeze, what do you do? Well, there's not. it's very difficult to suicide squeeze with a left-handed hitter up there, first of all. Because all you got to do is pitch the ball out when he can't get to it. So it's more difficult with a left-handed hitter up than it would be with a right-handed hitter. Got the call on that one, a high strike. One and one the count. But you can see that the, the Yankees are anticipating a squeeze. A-Rod's moving down with the runner. Jeter, everybody's kind of moving in toward the plate. Devan and the runner at third. Finley, another fast runner over at second base. A ball and a strike to Figgins. Cabrera on deck. Way outside, two and one. The Angels in these clutch at bats for the year. The number one in the league. But it won't necessarily take a base hit to get the run home here. The Yankees trying to choke this run off if they can. The infield in tight all the way around. Two and one the count. Three and one. And again, Figgins looks over at the third base coach. What about three and one for a suicide squeeze count? I don't think they'll squeeze now. Because it's pretty obvious that Torrey has decided that they might squeeze. And all those pitches are away for a reason. The crowd, everybody on their feet now. Three and one the count. 
just barely got a piece of it. See, I think the Yankees thought they were squeezed one and one or two and one. That's why those pitches were outside. And again, it's very difficult to squeeze with a left-handed hitter up there because all they have to do is throw the ball away and then he can still tag the runner coming in. What you try to do with a right-handed hitter up there is you knock the hitter down, which would allow him to tag the runner coming in. You don't pitch out, because if you pitch out, you're throwing it away from where the runner's coming. If you're pitching out with a right-handed hitter up there. Mariano Rivera watching for the bullpen. And the Yankees, for the first time, get the bullpen busy. Now lighter, number 19, got up. Figgins. Still with a 3 2 count, fouling that one straight back. And he did not have a good swing at that. That was the high fastball, and he just barely got a piece of it. A lighter, the lefty getting up, perhaps in anticipation of Garrett Anderson, a left handed hitter, a couple of batters down the lineup. Cabrera on deck, a right handed hitter. Devan and the runner at third. Finley, the runner at second. The infield is in. Again, the 3 and 2 pitch. Shallow. Bernie still coming. Too shallow. Devannon has to hold. Well, he accomplished one thing. He got the ball in the air, but he just did not hit it deep enough. Figgins was had 19 hits in 39 at bats against the Yankees in the regular season. Hit almost 500 against them. And in the 10 game series between the clubs, he stole six bases. But he's not even been on base in two games here. Well, they have to be careful because Cabrera will drop down a bump. A rods back a little bit. And field back. And two down. That's a liner. Left center field. That's a base hit. Devannon scores. And right behind him, Finley. Four to two Angels. Pitch was up and he lined it in the left center field. Good job of hitting there by Cabrera. Here's Garrett Anderson, the left handed hitter against Al Leiter. And back to the bag is Orlando Cabrera. How about that? The former Red Sox shortstop who won a World Series ring as a Red Sox last year. This is the guy who gets the big hit to put the Angels ahead of the Yankees here. Uh, it was interesting because you know they all the Cardinals, the Red Sox, and the Angels played musical chairs with their shortstops. Cabrera came from Boston to here. Eckstein went from here to St. Louis. The shortstop rents a rear from St. Louis to Boston. Yet all three of them are in the playoffs this year. And there's ball one to Garrett Anderson, who is 0 for 3 in the game. Vladimir Guerrero on deck. And the Yankees have. More activity going in their bullpen. There's bad Vlad. So it could be that Leiter is in just to face this one hitter. And a foul. That's the first time a guy's chopped one that took a high bounce and he didn't reach base on it in this inning. Proctor, the right-hander, warming up in the Yankees bullpen. Scott Proctor. Wong deserved a lot better than he got here tonight. Three errors, one that he made. That's a strike to Anderson. The big error by Alex Rodriguez back in the sixth inning, allowing Cabrera to reach, and then eventually he scored the tying run. A Molina's base hit. And then a, a big error. On a crazy bunt by Finley, a throwing error by Wong himself. Runner going. Shallow right, Cano out, Sheffield in. And Guerrero left on deck. But now we go to the eighth inning. Matsui coming up. It's four to two Angels. 